Hey guys, I'm out here right now, and I just got home from work. My kids brought this refrigerator in, and it's dirty. Uh, they brought it in from that 1968 uh, Automate trailer, and I'll show you a quick picture of it, just, you know, right here. And they do all of this while I'm gone. I was out on the road, I had to load the haul, so um, right now, what they're doing is they're documenting them out and we put a tag in the freezer or in the refrigerator and then we put this on the shelf back in the back of my shop people come along they want to buy one um, I'd rather sell them this nice uh, nice little Instamatic gas and electric if it works good doesn't have any issues I'd sell them this for a hundred bucks versus uh, going and buying one for a thousand that has electronic boards and all that stuff in it and it could go really bad really quick this one, you know it works, it's mechanical, it's not a problem, and and I believe this one is original, 1968. I don't know yet, but Daniel's been checking this out, and right now, Kara's getting the paperwork. Where did y'all start with there? First, we started with the ambient temp, 67 degrees. Then we, then we ended up with the electrical. There was no short out. Good. Now, what they do, what they do is, is this is Kara. This is my oldest at home, and this is Daniel. This is my second oldest at home. What they did is, what did you? What was your starting voltage, Daniel? Um, three. Three hundred. Okay, so you peaked. You peaked at three hundred. Peaked at three hundred. Yeah. Okay, so the fire up was at three hundred, and right now it's at two eleven, two ten wattage. And they use the watt meter because it's the safest way to show that there's a fault. And this is a P3 watt meter. Uh, these work excellent for this purpose as long as your load ain't over 2,000 watts starting. Now, this refrigerator is in pretty good shape. It's not rusted out. Uh, it's actually quite warm, putting out a lot of heat. And it's an electrical function right now. Tomorrow we'll check gas function, but the electrical is the most important because it gives you every feature function accurately. The gas may have to be adjusted or something might need a thermal coupler that's not a big deal so uh i'm gonna let them go ahead and go through how how long's it been how long's the test going three hours okay so three hours the test has been going uh, y'all go ahead and let them know how y'all have done your test run time three hours core temp core temp 67 degrees ambient temp 67 all right now what he's doing right now is he's checking the core temperature which is telling you what the heating element has produced. 140 So it's at 140, that's, that's, actually, that's, that's excellent. Most of them run about 130, 150. So that's excellent, right in the middle. All right, now what's next? Freezer temp. Freezer temperature. Negative 12. Negative 12 degrees. It's actually a nice looking refrigerator, guys. Okay, refrigerator says 36, he says. 36 degrees refrigerator. That's a very good, high quality, isolated freezer refrigerator setup. That might be what the dual core system's for on this one. Um, what, what else? Daniel, what's the condition? They're, now, they're, now, these two here have done this a long time. So they're going to rate its condition. Now, listen to this. 7 out of 10 stars. Now, they've done about 20 of these. They've gotten really used to it. He used to think one was great, and I'd go, uh-uh. And now he thinks, oh, it's bad, and I'd go, no, check this. So what they've done is these two guys have learned how to figure them completely out, whether or not they have leaks, whether or not they have the condition of the temperature. Um, what is what is your, your in, or, in and out of core con, uh, temperatures? So we're losing six degrees. That is just spec. That is right on six to eight degrees being lost as it circulates back over and goes down in the cooling function to make the uh, make the uh, ammonia race through the system to make it cold in here. That's very good. Um, what else you got over there? I also have year model. What's okay? There you go. What's the year model? Year model is very important because then you know what different materials it might have in it. Really? I didn't even look at that part. Okay, so made in, holy cow, you're right. Made in Japan. You move back a little bit, let me get some light. Look at that, guys. Made in Japan. Wow. That's classic. I mean, that's, 
Hey, Japanese made some good stuff back then. So, all right. So, what do y'all what do y'all think? Value wise, what would you sell this for? Hundred to hundred and fifty. Hundred. You said hundred. You said what? Put down a hundred and a quarter. There you go. Now, I teach these kids everything about what I work with. I suggest you do the same. These two know value, they know usefulness, and they know how to test things. And pardon my phones, <laughs> Cameron, but this is my 11-year-old, this is my 12-year-old, and if they can do it, so can yours. All right, guys, this is a really cool old refrigerator, and it is a... Instamatic and made in Japan, gas and electric. Needs cleaned. Y'all didn't clean it, guys. You guys apparently didn't clean it, but it has everything in it. It has the butter dish door, which is kind of rare to have one. <laughs> uh, your eggs, your little egg rail, the lower basket, or the middle basket, and we have a lower basket missing. Did y'all find one? No. Okay, so let's deduct uh, $10 off of that because that's not a hard part to actually make, if you see what I mean. Um, the other uh, are all in there, and the condensate is in, and the freezer is no scratches. You always look in here to see if you see scratches, and what are we running at? We're running at, no, it's negative five. Negative five degrees, because we've had it open for a while. So, there you go, Instamatic Intact 1968. 50 year old quality. If you're looking for a good heat temperature gun. If you're looking for a real, yeah, yeah, he's got one that he picked up that's a general. I've been using the Harbor Freight one, but this one here is a general, and I don't know where he got it at, Home Depot or something. They are. Yes, he's, yeah, that's, they look similar, but the Semtec is not damn, it's not very accurate. This general is. And look so, at the laser. So yeah, look at the laser difference. Little bitty dot, and then look at this one. And they both have fresh um, lithium batteries. All right, guys, did y'all do a good job? All right, let's sell it. Kind of sweet, huh?